why the subjunctive is so important in French and how it enhances the clarity of your messages. Hello everyone! The subjunctive has many uses, guys, so we'll take one specific case to demonstrate its importance. We'll also see how to choose between subjunctive and non-subjunctive structures, understanding that the choice depends not only on grammar, but also on the tone of your message. If you are ready, guys, let's get started. So, the case I chose to show you the point is the case of necessity and obligation. To express necessity or obligation, you have the choice between il faut plus infinitive and il faut que plus subjunctive. So what is the difference between the two and what is the added value of using the subjunctive if we can keep our verb in the infinitive and avoid tricky conjugation? The structure il faut plus infinitive expresses a general necessity or obligation. Remember guys, il here is not he, right? Il here is an impersonal pronoun similar to how we use it to talk about time, il est 6 heures, or the weather, il pleut, il fait beau. Il faut is like saying it's necessary or one must, okay? It's not he, it's an impersonal pronoun. For example, il faut manger pour vivre, il faut manger pour vivre. Il faut travailler dur, il faut travailler dur. These sentences are general and don't specify who must do the action. And that is precisely why, guys, we need the subjunctive. The structure il faut que plus subjunctive allows you to say who must do the action, making your message much more precise. Il faut que tu manges. Il faut que tu manges. Il faut qu'elle travaille dur. Il faut qu'elle travaille dur. So by adding que and using the subjunctive, we indicate exactly who must do the action, making the statement more direct. When you say il faut travailler dur, it's a neutral and soft way of expressing a necessity. This is why it's important to consider the tone when choosing which structure to use. Depending on the situation and your relationship with your interlocutor, you might want to be more neutral or more direct. Imagine playing a board game and someone breaks the rules. You might say, il faut respecter les règles du jeu. Il faut respecter les règles du jeu. This statement is neutral and emphasizes the general need to follow rules without pointing out who must do the action, who must respect the rules. If the situation persists and someone continues to break the rules, you can say more directly, il faut que tu respectes les règles du jeu. Il faut que tu respectes les règles du jeu. Imagine you are at work and there is a report that needs to be completed before a meeting. So you might say, il faut finir ce rapport avant la réunion de demain. Il faut finir ce rapport avant la réunion de demain. This phrase expresses a necessity formally and professionally, without specifying who must act. This statement is soft, neutral and suitable for maintaining a polite and professional tone. But if you want to be more specific and direct, you might say Il faut que vous finissiez ce rapport avant la réunion de demain. Il faut que vous finissiez ce rapport avant la réunion de demain. This phrase is more direct, specifying who needs to take the action. It is more straightforward and firm. Imagine you are in a park with strangers and there is a disagreement about something. You might say Il faut trouver un compromis pour résoudre cela. Il faut trouver un compromis pour résoudre cela. This statement is neutral and helps maintain a calm atmosphere. But if the situation becomes difficult and someone is not cooperating, you might say il faut que vous compreniez notre position. Il faut que vous compreniez notre position. So if you want to stay neutral and soft guys, you would use il faut for le faire. And if you want to be more direct and firm, you will say il faut que tu le fasses. Il faut que tu le fasses. And last but not least, there is one more option which is il faudrait. Il faudrait plus infinitive or il faudrait que plus subjunctive. It's the same verb falloir, but conjugated in conditionnel instead of the present tense. Il faut. 
there is no direct translation guys for these formulas anyway so it will depend on the context but basically the difference between il faut and il faudrait is like must be done and should be done or would have need to be done so il faut one must il faudrait one would have to for example il faut le faire il faut le faire or il faudrait le faire il faudrait le faire in the case of il faut il faudrait que plus subjunctive if we say il faut que tu finisses le rapport avant mardi it means you must finish the report before tuesday and if we say il faudrait que tu finisses le rapport avant mardi it means you would have to finish the report before tuesday so even if you specify who must do the action using the conditionnel makes it softer and unlike il faut it doesn't sound like an order so remember guys the subjunctive with il faut que helps make your French more precise and clear. Depending on the situation and your interlocutor, you might choose one structure over the other. Il faut plus infinitive is more neutral and formal, while il faut que plus subjunctive is more direct and informal. And using conditionnel, il faudrait, allows you to be precise and soft at the same time. So knowing when to use each one will help you communicate more appropriately and more effectively in French. That's it for today, guys. If something is not clear, please feel free to ask questions in the comments.